and uh, team for uh, Legacy. So today we'll be having a group interview. I'll just have to wait for the others to join us. So uh, pretty much uh, this is for the content marketing uh, virtual assistant role. Uh, and, and then uh, if you will not make it in uh, for this role, I have other positions that may be available. Uh, I have seven available jobs. So if you will not be, you know, if your skills is not really suitable for this um, specific uh, job, then I may have to reprofile you to do a different position. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Hi, Grace. Hi. Hi. Um, hang on. I just have to wait for the others. Okay, um, I think we're all set. Uh, just three of you. It's all right. Okay, um, we'll start with uh, Victoria. So, uh, Victoria, uh, the um, questions would be uh, pretty much, you know, it's just the same thing. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure you've, you've gone through all of uh, this in the past, uh, either in a corporate job or, or, or um, in the freelancing uh, industry. So I'll be asking you about your um, fa uh, past experience as a freelancer, and then uh, what were the highlights of your uh, career, and then why are you the right fit for the role? Uh, this goes to everyone. This applies to everyone. OK, go ahead, Victoria. I, 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 I am Victoria Agustin, and I have worked as sales and marketing executive for almost five years, mm -hmm. two years in my current job, which ended just this August because of COVID. I had the cold calls, I visit restaurants and hotels. I'm actually working for the food industry. Mm -hmm. And I also do the marketing for the, the brand, which I do the content and other marketing materials. Um, can you hear me clearly? Yes, yes, I can hear it clearly. Yes, I also work as uh, sales for the for the hotel air conditioning. We handle the retailing of parts. So I'm best fit for the job because of my experience. Okay, thank you so much for that. Have you had any experience working as a um, freelancer or a virtual assistant in the past? Um, none, actually. This is actually my first time working from home and online. I've always worked for the corporate industry. Okay. All right. Um, so uh, during your uh, tenure with your previous companies, uh, what were the uh, highlights that you can say that you could bring into your freelancing career? I think my creativity will be perfect for this industry. And I always... I'm always very flexible, and I can do the job perfectly. Mm -hmm. um, this job is actually uh, pretty much into the marketing. However, there's a bit of a technical side for this. So you'll be uh, running daily ad reporting, uh, weekly ad reporting, uh, lead generation campaigns. Uh, if you know like videos, video campaigns, and optimizing the, the ads. So uh, and also creating graphics. So this is uh, to make sure that the branding is, is on point and then you're helping the company to actually uh, gain traction in social media or, or online. Um, do you think that these roles uh, will be uh, suitable for, for you or do you have any know-how about how to run an ad? Yes, sir. I think it would be perfect because in my current job, I do the mar online marketing for our re online retail, which is the first cut. It's an online state selling. We mm -hmm. I do the uh, the materials using Canva, and I also run the ads through Facebook and Instagram. I think that would be similar for the job that you're looking for, for the position. All right, thank you so much for that. That's really a good advantage. Uh, if you know all of these, uh, the reason for that is why I'm asking. The client is is very nice, and he just wanted to have somebody to really help him with his fitness business. So this is um, 
a, a good thing that you have those skill sets where in you can bring into to the business and help him gain more traction when it comes to uh, his brand because most of the time these people doesn't have any ideas so if you can suggest whatever um, ideas that you could bring into the business to help the, the business grow and in return you will also be uh, you know compensated for that yeah. Um, have you also had, you, you mentioned that you've actually run an ad on uh, social media. Yeah. Have you had any um, like interaction? How do you uh, turn the a cold customer or a prospect into a high paying client uh, through your ads? Um, I actually personally re respond to the inquiries. Mm -hmm. So actually it's better if you respond personally and not depend on the automatic generation repl replies. Mm -hmm. I think through that, they get personal connection with you and the brand. So you, you, suit, you suit their requirements, the products that they're actually looking for, for the clients. So personal connection with the clients will make them actually buy from you. All right. Okay. Um, does this involve with uh, customer service as well? Yes, sir. It's okay. perfect for customer service. All right. So given that, uh, I, I wanted to know how do you approach uh, people in social media, given that it's a different, you know, spectrum, it's a different uh, level of, you know, you don't know them. How do you present your brand and, and say, hey, this is our brand and this is what I do? Um, is, are there any processes that you follow so that, you know, you can turn them into a high paying client? Um, for me, I personally know there, I get to know the target market first of the brand. Mm -hmm. Like for example, our products are steak, mm -hmm. meaning our clients should be the, on the upper class. Mm -hmm. So for boosting ads, I get, I specifically put the people looking for steak and not just anyone looking for food. I put specific, what do you call this? Specific tags for mm -hmm. putting ads. So you get, you target perfectly the one you're looking for for the brand. For if example, if this is for fitness, I should get and target the people that are working out and doing physical activities and not just target the whole crowd. All right. Um, yeah, uh, I don't have any other questions. This is going to be a quick interview, though. Um, pretty much, you know, I've, I've, <laughs> I've been doing interviews since 7 a.m. today. So, yeah, um, I, I would actually like to, you know, if, if you receive a private message from me, um, providing my email, that means you're shortlisted. And... Uh, this is also to make sure that, you know, you understand running ads. And there's going to be a, a training that will be provided by uh, the client, so you won't have a hard time. And the client is the nicest person that you've ever worked for. So the salary for this would be uh, 800 Australian dollars uh, for a start. So that's about 28,000 if PayPal is not as, as, as crook as, you know, we are all, all free, uh, freelancing, so <laughs> freelancers. So, <laughs> I mean, if if, you, uh, if the if the rate is really good, so you may be receiving uh, twenty eight thousand um, as a start. Would that be okay um, with you? For me, yes, that's perfect. Uh, may I know if the time zone is the same for the Philippines? Or what time are we using for the? It depends with the client, though. Uh, maybe uh, you you can actually discuss with the client if ever you will be hired. Uh, but but most of the clients would actually prefer to have you work on a Fili uh, Philippine time. So let's say uh, eight thirty a.m. to four thirty p.m. So it's 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 a normal working hours for us. But if if you know if you're nice enough to tell them you know I can work uh, same time in. The way you work and, and the time you work, so that that's that's good for them. And then you know, if you, I'm I'm open to actually allowing you guys to find other jobs at night. You can also you know do tutorial or any other freelance uh, work at night. So I've I, I suggest that to most of my of my um, interviewees, so that you know more money 
<laughs> more, more income for us, right? <laughs> All right. Okay. So, um, yeah, Victoria, uh, kindly send me an email and then attach your resume. And if you have uh, your, uh, uh, yeah, your 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 work before uh, or uh, portfolio that you can actually attach to that, that would be a great uh, addition to. I mean, to make your 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 um, uh, application more valuable uh, to the client. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you so much. And thank I you for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Thank you. All right. Have a great day. All right. Um, okay. Hi, Robert. Hello. Hi. Hi. Good afternoon. So, um, yeah, same thing with Victoria. I, I actually would like to know your experience working uh, either in a freelance world or in a corporate um, industry. And then walk us through your highlights and why are you the right fit for the role? Okay. So again, uh, good afternoon. Uh, I'm Robert. Um, I graduated with a degree in uh, business administration, uh, major in management. I worked as a human resource assistant for three years and then um, moved to the banking industry as a teller. And then two years after, I decided to, uh, to uh, travel the world and become a seafarer working for a cruise ship company based in the USA, which lasted for uh, about six years. And uh, recently, um, with this pandemic, uh, I was stuck here in the Philippines, so I decided to enroll in an uh, online virtual assistant course, which uh, I finished last July. And recently, I was a social media manager, product, and a web researcher for an online food business. I'm uh, suit suited for the job because uh, I have uh, skills and uh, knowledge about the job because of my recent uh, job as a social media manager which is basically to run ads organic or paid ads and i can uh, bring a, a bucket of kfc to the company uh, which is knowledge fresh ideas and creativity all right thank you so much for that um have you uh, also you you mentioned that you've actually had a training for uh is it like a freelance, uh, like a course? Yes, I took a, a 30 day uh, freelance virtual assistant course. So basically, I've learned uh, a lot of tools and how to manage leads and everything about uh, virtual assistant because I don't have any idea before. Because uh, this is also my first time this year to have uh, encountered the working online. So because of this pandemic. So that's why I uh, want to have knowledge before entering this uh, industry. OK, thank you so much for that. Um, so with running the ads, I wanted to know how did you, how was the training? Was it like an intensive training for, for you guys? It's actually just an overview. Um, mm -hmm. um, they taught us how, the tools that we need and how to optimize uh, the ads and also how to uh, get the SEO. They taught mm -hmm. us uh, the lead generations and the email marketing and a lot of stuff. Okay. Um, have you also worked, uh, I mean, pretty much for 30 days, you, will, you, you were immersed into customer service. Do you have any idea about customer service? I do have an idea because I have the background when I was working in the bank. Mm -hmm. uh, the title I have was a customer service representative in the bank. So I basically have an idea on how to do customer service. All right. Okay. So um, what were the uh, key assets that a customer service or a virtual assistant should have so that... Uh, for example, I will put it to you so that you will excel in your uh, freelancing career. Again, uh, I don't get the question. I'm sorry. Uh, what were the uh, assets? Like, what, what are the things that you should have as a virtual assistant, uh, maybe handling as a cost, uh, maybe the role would be customer service or, or, or social media manager? What are the key aspects that you should have? 
So first, of course, as a social media manager, you should be creative. You should have fresh ideas and you should know what you're doing. You should know uh, the tools that you need to do. You need to uh, have so that it will help you in uh, having those campaigns. And you should also be patient and uh, you should uh, have uh, uh, dedication to the work because if you don't have dedication you might get bored and you might uh, not uh, have the job done properly okay all right um where are you based right now i am based in uh, negros occidental or um, okay. oriental sorry all right uh with uh, the internet is there's any problem when it comes to the connection there or, or um, anything no. like that no, actually, I have like uh, the PLDT fiber, which is a uh, 20 Mbps, mm-hmm. and the uh, electricity here is not like uh, it's rent seldom to have uh, interruption. All right. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, I don't have any other questions. Uh, just send me an email and attach your resume, and then so here's the, what will going to happen is uh, maybe uh, let me just check my calendar if. It's... Right. So on on the 18th will be the uh, final interview. You'll be talking to Jimmy Halley. Um, he's the nicest guy. Uh, you will be able to learn more about running ads and stuff like that. But of course, just, I mean, I'm, let's admit it, that you really don't have any experience running ads, right? Um, just make sure that you will highlight your skill sets the training that you've gained from from the 30 days intensive training, virtual assistant training, and then tell, you know, like maybe convince them of why are you the right fit for the role. I will still be there, but of course, you know, it, it, it would be depend on him to, to whom to choose as, as a virtual assistant. Okay. Right. Okay. All so right. as much as possible, I want you guys to get a job. However, Naman, if you will not be, um, makuha, then I may have other positions available for you. Okay. All right. Okay. So just send me an email. I don't have any other questions. Uh, do you have any questions for me? Uh, the same email that you uh, sent before? Yeah. Is that... Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time. All right. Bye-bye.